Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Blevins here at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. I am the equine field service clinician here at the university. We take students out on farm calls and do general equine work. One of the most common things that we do to horses is place a bandage on their leg for multiple purposes. One is for support, the other is for wounds or inflammation and to get edema out of the leg. Material used will be underlying material for the wound. That would include a telfa pad or a non-adhesive bandage material that would go over a wound if there was a wound on the leg. That needs to be held intact on the leg with a stretch type gauze, which we call white gauze or one that has a little bit of stretch to it. The elasticon is used for sealing the bandage so material or uh, debris cannot get into the inside of the bandage. Brown gauze, vet wrap, and combi roll or leg cotton. Initially, we will start by making sure the leg is clean. Any dirt or debris needs to be off the leg prior to putting bandage material on there if a bandage is placed over the top and could potentially even cause bandage sores. And you can see that we wear gloves. If there is a wound to keep bacteria off of that wound, we're just doing a demonstration. There is no wound on this horse's leg. So we're showing initially that non-adhesive wrap that will go on the leg. And we will hold that wrap again with this crinkle gauze. Initially, that gauze you can see has a stretch to it, so it forms around the leg and forms around the non-adhesive bandage material. And placing the bandage material on there, usually we'll start below or above, and we're going to overlap by half as we, this, work up the leg. And again, it's not going on tight, but just snug so it holds that Telfa non-adhesive pad to that of the wound and it doesn't slip out either at the top or at the bottom. We will then cut off the excess amount of material with bandage scissors. Next, we will then start with the support wrap bandage material, which we start with the leg cotton or the combi roll as we're using this material. And again, demonstrating that we're gonna be below that of the coronary band or starting on the hoof capsule. Sometimes even starting completely at the ground will help with that. So again, going around in the same direction as we did with that crinkle gauze with this combi roll. To get this to hold in place, we will use brown gauze. And again, going in the same direction and you can also see the way that we wrap it is so that the bandage material is closest to the wound and not opposite. So that's what we're demonstrating here, that the material needs to be rolling close to the wound and not away from the wound. And that'll allow you to snug it on and place it in a secure manner. Also showing that we want a little bit of the white cotton showing at the bottom, and we'll show you at the top. And so only thing that's touching the skin is that of this leg cotton combi roll as we move with this brown gauze material up the leg, overlapping by half each time. And again, you can see how we're trying to stretch or pull this as tight as we can and try not to cause an accordion effect. So equal pressure with the palm of our hands and sometimes the use of both hands to go around the leg. You want the horse to stand as you're placing this and not to relax the leg. So it is a normal contour of that leg as you're putting this pressure with this bandage. So we go to the top, you can see that we left a little bit of the white combi roll or cotton roll at the top against the skin. 
and we'll use all of this material for the bandaging. You do not need to stick or tuck the brown gauze. Usually it can just kind of hang out or be placed on there because we'll have another layer that actually holds the brown gauze on, and that is vet wrap. Vet wrap has an elastic component to it. Uh, it doesn't have adhesive stick uh, with vet wrap or that uh, material that we have, which is purple here, because uh, we are here at Kansas State University. We like purple. As we get one revolution around, it'll be stuck to itself. And then at this point, it's good to know, and that I usually will even tell students as they're placing this on there, to make sure there's no wrinkles in the vet wrap. So it should almost shine. So you can see as we pull in it tight, and again, each layer is going on in the same direction. We're not going in opposite directions uh, with these layers. So whatever we started with, on our inner layer, we're continuing to go in that same revolution around the leg. Again, just demonstrating that we're not going to go onto the skin with the vet wrap. We want that white cotton to be the layer that is against the skin. We'll work back down the leg again with the same pressure to help with support bandage. And this also helps to bring edema or keep edema or fluid out of the bottom of that limb too. And again, we're covering up the coronary band so we won't have pooling right above the hoof capsule either based on our material. So you can see with vet wrap, it usually kind of sticks to itself and just kind of molds right on there to the leg or to the, that of the same bandage material. Now we're going to use Elasticon. And this aspect is a, is a stretch adhesive material, but we do not put the Elasticon on very tight. Um, this adhesive is mainly just a sealant to keep dirt and debris out of the inside of our bandage. So we're just laying that on. We're taking the stretch back out of it, so we're not putting this on tight. So we're letting it recoil back on itself and just using it for the adhesive aspect of the material and not the stretch because we don't want to cause stricture or constriction onto the skin with this layer. Now the bottom, we're going to stick it half again on the vet wrap or material and half on the hoof capsule. So we will seal or use the adhesive to prevent dirt and debris from getting into or up underneath the bandage. And just going around a couple times and then we will take and cut with the bandage scissors the rest or excessive amount of Elasticon. We don't need to use a bunch of this material. Mainly, again, we're just using it to seal up the bandage. So dirt and debris does not get in the inside. There's a disposable bandage material. I say it's disposable because it will uh, be need to be taken off. Usually these bandages stay for support and clean and tight for about two to three days and then they need to be removed and replaced if needed at that point. But all those are of the discretion of the veterinarian that is helping prescribe whatever bandage that you need for your horse. We'll use bandage scissors to remove the bandage. When you get to that point, we'll cut off the elasticon, and then we'll get the bandage scissors to get up underneath the vet wrap and brown gauze. You can see it's still on fairly snug at this point. A lot of times when you're removing it, the bandage material is already a little looser uh, as it doesn't completely stay tight more than two to three days. That's why it has to be replaced. The biggest thing too is to make sure that you're not cutting next to that of the skin. Bandage scissors are helpful as it has a blunted tip that's in the inside of the bandage that keeps you from poking or penetrating onto the skin, which is also very important not to damage while removing a bandage. Now that we've got that outer layer off, we will just unravel the leg cotton 
Most of the time, the leg cotton, especially if there's a wound underneath on the skin, that cotton layer will also be dirty with organic debris, whether blood, serum, dirt. So reapplying it may not be that beneficial. You may have to go with another new leg cotton or combi roll. Now we're just getting ready to take off where there was a wound or to demonstrate where there was a wound. So you can either cut it off as demonstrating here and again, away from wherever the wound is at with bandage scissors as it has that blunted protective layer that you're putting up against the skin and less likely to cut the skin while removing a bandage. Also when removing this, it is also beneficial to wear exam gloves when there is a wound and you're removing the bandage when you get to that layer uh, to keep the bacteria that you may even have on your hand off of that of the wound. Again, I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact your veterinarian or contact us here at the Veterinary Health Center at the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University.